and I'm gonna follow that with a meatball, my first meatball. Mm. Oh. oh, that's really good. Hey everyone, it's Mark Wiens with MigrationOlogy.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. I just arrived to a restaurant that is called Bakso Akio 99 and this place is very very well known throughout Jakarta for serving different types of noodles along with beef meatballs and beef assorted beef parts in soup. And so I ordered a couple of different versions and this is a really cool place. It's nice and busy and I'm excited to dig in. They do all of the cooking at the front of the restaurant and they have a couple of vats of boiling water and soup and they have all the different meats in the glass cabinet. So as soon as you make your order, they take some of the meatballs and some of the parts of beef and they, they blanch them in the hot water so they are cooked fresh and then they put them all into bowls and serve you quickly. And so I've got two different soups but for my base, I ordered the mi, which are the yellow noodles. I think they are egg noodles, I'm not totally sure. And then they serve it with a, a spoonful of crispy shallots on the side. So I think I'll just unload the spoon. Oh man, crispy shallots, I love crispy shallots. And these are quite wide or quite thick noodles. And then, let me grab a pair of chopsticks. The chopsticks are almost like a, the game of pickup sticks, which I used to love when I was a kid. They're like little uh, skewer sticks and you dump them out and then they all like fall onto the ground like this and you have to try to pick them out without another stick moving. Okay, I got my chopsticks. This one, there are a couple of beef meatballs in here and then also the beef, slices of beef. Let me chase this soup first. Oh, that is a very warm and soothing broth. It's salty and it has a very, very pleasant beef flavor to it, but it's not, not overpowering, not like a gamey beef flavor, but a very, a very soothing beef flavor. Oh, that definitely has some umami features to it. And then this one is, I believe this was, is all mixed, so there are some, oh, that's some um, tripe in there, there are some beef pieces, there are, I don't know what else, but uh, this is a mix of soup. Let me try this soup as well, and get a little piece of beef with that. Mm. I think the same beef. Oh, and that beef is really tender. Like fall apart tender in my mouth. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the garlic in there. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. And they are quite soft, not too chewy, but a good texture. And oh, really fragrant with garlic. Really, really fragrant. Okay, now that I have tasted everything, it's time to start seasoning. They served us a whole bowl of chopped up cilantro, rough chopped cilantro. Oh, and there's some green onions in here as well. And what I've seen most people do is put all of this into the, into the noodles and give that. And then they've also, people also seasoned the noodles with some of this sauce on the table. And I have no idea what this type of sauce is. Oh, but it looks fantastic. Okay, that should be good for right now. I wanna get it with that sauce right now and some of those, that cilantro and green onions. Mm. That sauce is amazing. Now that I have tasted that sauce, I can definitely add a lot more. That sauce is wonderful. It's very, um, it's actually, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a chili sauce but it's mostly salty, it's not, it's not really sour and it's not really sweet, or it's not sweet at all. But it's almost kind of earthy, or that could be from all of the cilantro that I had on that bite. But I can definitely add some more of this sauce. That is delicious. Mm. That sauce almost has a little bit of a, a bitter tinge to it. It's really good. And I'm gonna follow that with a meatball. My first meatball. Mm. Oh. That's really firm. It's not, not really spongy and not really airy, but it's very firm and dense. And then 
you you can kind of get a little bit of the beef grain in that, although it's very smooth all the way through. Okay, I'm gonna go in for some of that meat now. Give this a dip. That beef is so tender. And then with that sauce, it's kind of like a bitter chili sauce. I don't know what the bitterness is, but I love it. Mm. That, that reddish piece of beef, or is that the, or that might be the tripe. It's a little bit chewy um, and a little bit sweet in taste actually, but it's, it's good. Yeah, I like it. I need a, a spoonful of soup after that. That broth is just crazy soothing. All these chopped up uh, green onions and cilantro really make a big difference too. Makes it so good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. That salty, flavorful beef soup, then with just that herb touch of cilantro and green onions, it's marvelous. I really like this style of having the dry noodles and then having the beef soup on the side. And this sauce is just blowing my mind. It's so good. I love that bitter dimension in it. It's such a wonderful sauce. I'm down to my final beef meatball. And I will try to get up as much sauce on it uh, for my final, final bite as possible. Oh man, the sauce is not sticking anymore to the meatball. I might have to use my spoon. Okay, let me transfer this over to my spoon. Oh, perfect. In Thailand, if it would be a sauce like this, at a beef restaurant like this, it would probably be some bile in the sauce to make it give it that bitterness. It's that kind of a harsh bitterness. I have no idea if they're using bile in the sauce, but that is one possibility. That was a very sweaty bowl of noodles. I am sweating right now to the max, um, but that was really, really good. I love to eat beef noodles, and there are so many different variations and different styles of beef noodles all across Asia. And so, this is a, a beef noodle variety, and it's quite different from beef noodles that I've had in Taiwan or beef noodles that I've had in Thailand, but incredibly good. That sauce and that cilantro and green onions really took things to the next level. That was a very satisfying beef noodle experience here in Jakarta, and I feel great after that. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next food video.